What's going on guys? Back at it again with another video. This is going to be a really in-depth video about rap reading. I'm going to show you how I do things here at TR Reptiles. We're going to go through bedding, uh, rack, setup, show you all my breeders, my babies, everything. All you need to know about rap reading is going to be right here guys. Check it out. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Sorry for the poor light quality. We're doing this at night. Um so rack reading. So this is the rack here, and uh, rap reading is, is extremely essential because let's just be honest here, you need it to feed your snakes, especially ball pythons. A lot of them feed live. It's very hard to get them on frozen thought. I am attempting to do this now. Um, it's not faring too well, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So let's get into it. This is my rack. I built this myself. Um, it's an eight tier rack. It's pretty high, but this is being kept in my garage. So as I say, this is being kept in my garage. Um, I'm going to just put a note here that you do not want to keep these in your house. The smell is ungodly do not keep rats in your house put them in your garage put them in an outbuilding anything but in your house um so we, we have it on here is i have it on a track system but um as you can see this one's better um there's such a gap and i don't like it at all too much pull here with this the youtube video i used the measurements were way off and i wouldn't use a tracking and as you can see this is really coming off here and I think it puts a lot of wear and tear on that in the tub. And also, the um, the little pieces here on these cement tubs, um, I would actually file that down. But I won't need to do that because my idea is, and I've seen people do this, is putting pieces of wood here, two by fours, and I'm sliding in and out of that. So this is going to be flush, and you're just going to slide in and out of that. So everything is, in my opinion, way more secure and way more easier. Um, if you guys are on Instagram, look at Rats101. He has a lot of videos up, and you can see his racks in the background and how he does it. Um, you know, so you can see kind of what I'm talking about, basically. Um, but really a basic setup, two by four, two by twos. We have the mesh wiring right here. This is where the food goes. And we build our frames first, obviously. A little backstop back there to stop the tubs. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's really basic, really cheap, really easy to make. And I did enjoy making it, even though I would not do the same thing. Uh, over here, we have our water system. It goes up to that five-gallon bucket there. Uh, we have our nozzle there. Um, I built up a little uh, area up there that you can see for the uh, five-gallon bucket to go on. Um, so it could be up a little higher. I have really high ceilings in here, so it definitely helps out a lot. Uh, we have our nozzle. And we have water right there. Um, everything I got for the water system is all from Reptile Basics. They have some really affordable, really nice, um, uh, you know, stuff when it comes to uh, water systems. And down here at the bottom, it's probably going to be hard to see, but um, I have the uh, a little connector down here where if I want to drain the entire system, all I have to do is just uh, undo this and I can drain and clean the entire system. So that's really important too. Um... Let's get into food. Food caught me at a bad time, guys. The feed store that I go to had closed, and I had to pick up dog food. Uh, I don't like using dog food. I like to use this, which is Missouri 6F. I think it is really great. It has high in protein. I had to use dog food before when I couldn't get it, and I didn't know the feed store had existed around me, and um, I saw a lull in my production, so I really think that the protein lack of protein um, that the dog food gives the rats uh, definitely makes a difference. Um, but this is Imes, and the thing is too, is that I paid $37 for this big bag. A big bag at the feed store by me for the Missouri is $23 for a 50 pound bag. You can't go wrong there at all, guys. I mean, I know this Harlan is out there, um, but you know, I really, uh, really think that, uh, 
you know, Missouri is a really good way to go. Uh, it's what my feed store carries, and, uh, you know, that's what I like. Um, getting into the tubs, these are cement tubs from Home Depot. Um, they're like six bucks each, and, uh, you know, I think they work really well. I know a lot of people use the lab setups and everything like that, and, uh, you know, you just can't, can't really fit a lot of a lot of rats in there and here I can fit four to five females in with one male in here I usually just do four to one um, ratio but um you know that that's kind of what you can do and then I used to do a uh, nursing rack I decided not to do that it was just too much of a pain so what I do is I put at least four females in here and they all birth out and they all help out and stuff I know a lot of people say that uh, you know, they're going to fight over the babies and they're going to kill the babies and stuff. If you have um, rats doing that, then you have a problem with your line, you know, that you're breeding and stuff. And, um, you know, you might want to call off them. Uh, and also, my thing is, too, is you might want to check your husband tree because if you have well-fed and plenty of water, there's no reason for them to do any of that stuff, in my opinion, guys. Um, these are all very healthy, very well taken care of babies, and I have absolutely no problems at all. I've had no one kill any, um, at all, really. Um, I've had some stillborn babies and stuff, and some moms not take care of some babies, but that's really about it. So, um, it works out the way, the way it is. Um, let me get into how I set everything up. So, over here... We have two tubs. Like I said, cement tub. I fill use pine pellets that I get at um, a tractor supply store. I put all my adults on this, and I put anything that is weaned and up on this too. Um, it really helps with the smell, guys. I think it really helps out a lot, and it helps with the cleanup too. This, after a week, week and a half, maybe even two weeks, if if you know if that's how long I take it, this will all be nothing but powder, sawdust. It's basically compacted sawdust, and basically, it's an easy cleanup. There's no cake down poop. There's no cake down area where they peed a lot. It's very easy to clean up. I really think it helps with the smell. Now, when I have some new moms, I do just pine shavings, and I give them a lot. I give them a good amount, probably more than I need to, but I want them to feel comfortable and be able to make a really nice nest. Now. After they birth, I'll probably do a thin layer of pine pellets, and then I'll put pine shavings on top. I don't put too many pine pellets, because from what I've heard, um, because they make a lot of dust, what happens is, is the babies, for some reason, will suffocate and die from too much dust. So, um, depending on how old the babies are, I really won't do it, but I think the pine shavings on top of it gives it a really good cover, but then having these underneath really helps with the absorbing urine and smell and stuff like that. Um, also, my setup, I give everyone a block of wood. I just recently cut this, got some fresh wood for this one here, and I do that so that I don't have any chew outs. I have not had a chew out. I have no tubs that have any chew marks on them, knock on wood. I have not had that happen yet, and that's something I'm very proud of, and I really think it works. Um, if you look at some of the ones in here, it's clearly chew on, so obviously they're chewing it. It does get a bunch of poop on it at times, but um, it works, guys. So uh, this is how I set them up, and this is what I use. So this is the Tractor Supply Company. If you have one near you, it works out, work out really well. This is the uh, pine shavings that I use, and then this here, this is actually... This is actually equine pelletized bedding, um, natural pine, and it's basically for horses. This is $5 a bag. This is a 40 pound bag, guys, $5 a bag. You cannot go wrong there at all. I mean, for a price like that, I mean, that's just beautiful. I need to go pick up some more, but I mean, that's well worth it to me. All right, so how I set them up, like I showed you over there. So in here, there's my big male right there, and there's only three females in here right now because I have a bunch of females laying. Um, I need to raise up some more females and definitely some more males. Um, my two males that I have definitely need to retire soon. But uh, as you can see, they're healthy. It's a little noisy. <laughs> happy. Sorry, tongue tie. Um, it's a little noisy, but you know, I mean, you want noise, you want smell. Um, here's some more here. This girl's getting a little fat. She might be uh, pregnant, but we'll give her a little bit of time. 
There's my other big male right there. He's a beast. He's a little rough with the ladies at the time, but you know, all good. And uh, there's that wood, like I said. So um, up here, we have the moms with a bunch of weans. My rats are always nice. They all come to say hello at times, you know. Really nice, docile. So like I said, they're all set up on pine. And then I have some recently new moms down here. They have the cage needs to be cleaned, but um, all on pine here. Some nice fresh babies, you know, a couple weeks old. And I got two moms in here. They're hiding back there. And uh, this is some more close to being weans and some more moms. They're on top of the the pine with the pine pellets underneath because there's still some young ones back there. You can't really see. It gets really dark um, in the tubs and I think that really provides some security with them too. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it. It's really basic. It's really easy to, um, you know, care for them. Uh, it's pretty cheap. Um, I highly recommend it if you're trying to get into uh, ball pythons or any sort of snakes and raising your own rooms. If you have the adequate space to uh, give good ventilation and stuff. Ventilation is very key because their smell, um, the ammonia buildup, is uh, really going to get to you at some point. Um, so you're really going to want some good ventilation. Um, I keep the garage open a lot during the daytime when I'm here and stuff and uh, thinking of transferring them over to the shed at some point, but uh, I need to uh, run some electricity out there and it's going to cost some money. So, uh, you know, really easy. Uh, if you start a colony and you start breeding, you know, it might take some time to get them at it, uh, uh, you know, adjusted. You know, mine definitely did too. It took me about two months until I had babies, so it's going to take time. But once you get it dialed in, it's uh, it's really going to work really well for you. You know, um, they know what to do. They're a really easy animal to care for, really easy animal to breed. Um, you know, so hope this is what got, was helpful, guys. I uh, really enjoyed making it. If there's something I left out, please comment below and let me know. I can do another video on it. Um, and next little clip that's going to be coming up is going to be me doing a little time lapse of uh, me cleaning the tubs. Enjoy. <laughs>